Goedendag allemaal. Het is al bijna drie jaar geleden dat ik hier was bij Pure Fitting op de Dutch. En ik ben vandaag weer terug. Want ik heb besloten dit jaar om wat minder les te gaan geven en weer wat meer te gaan spelen. En daar hoort ook een andere set bij, denk ik. Ik heb nu de afgelopen paar jaar met heel veel plezier gespeeld met de Callaway en Base. Maar ze zijn niet heel erg makkelijk. En ik denk wel dat ik mezelf wat makkelijker mag gaan maken omdat ik wat meer wedstrijden ga spelen. Dus vandaag ga ik weer een fitting doen voor mijn ijzers. Misschien gaan we ook de wedges nog eventjes meenemen. En ga ik kijken of dit nog steeds een set is die voor mij het beste is op het moment dat ik wat meer toernooien ga spelen. Dus kijk lekker mee en leer dat van. Er zijn de, de snoepwinkel op dit moment. Uh, veel verschillende clubs, veel verschillende shafts. En dat is precies wat ik vandaag ga testen. Ik ga vandaag eigenlijk een aantal dingen proberen. Ik wil namelijk een ander clubhoofd proberen. Uh, wat makkelijker, wat meer volwassen clubhoofd, laten we het even op die manier noemen. Um, en een andere shaft. Want ik wil graag de koppen proberen. Dat zijn dus de Cobra en de King Tour. Dus dat is de wat makkelijke clubhoofd. Het is dus toevallig ook het clubhoofd dat Ricky Fowler in zijn tas heeft zitten. Um, ik wil ook daarvan de CB proberen. De CB komt ietsje meer in de buurt van de MB die ik nu heb, de Callaway MB. Um, dus ik wil eigenlijk die twee eventjes ook naast elkaar zitten kijken of die wat makkelijker is of dat het nog net iets te moeilijk is. Want ik wil echt wel serieus meer controle, meer, uh, minder variatie creëren in mijn spel. Um, vergelijkbaar met de King Tour heb je ook van Strixen heb je de ZX7. Die heb ik al eerder een keer geprobeerd, maar niet met de camera erbij. Toen heb ik ook de Apex CB en de Titleist CB geprobeerd. Die drie waren toen allemaal, mwah, waren het allemaal net niet. Um, dus dat zijn de clubs waar ik naar ga kijken. Qua shafts wil ik kijken of ik misschien ietsje lichter kan. Ik heb nu de Project X LS 7.0. Dat is echt de alles stugste, alles zwaarste variant die je daarvoor kan krijgen. Want van Project X is al een wat lager spinnende shaft. Dan heb ik ook nog... De low spin variant daarvan, wat dus ervoor zorgt dat die bal nog lager gaat. En dan heb ik ook nog de 7.0 versie, dus dat is ook de allerzwaarste versie daarvan. Misschien is het wel nodig om ietsje lichter daarin te gaan. Um, ik vind die shafts heerlijk, maar met sommige schoten zijn ze toch wel wat lastiger. Dus ik denk dat ik daarmee misschien wel iets beter uh, uit de voeten kan komen. Dus dat is een beetje wat ik vandaag ga proberen. Dus andere clubhoofden, andere shafts. Um, en op die manier gaan we kijken hoe dat dan een beetje uh, zijn werk gaat. Kleine side note. Um, de vorige fitting heb ik misschien al kunnen zien, die was in het Engels. Uh, dat zal hij nu weer zijn. Um, Robert is Schots, dus voor hem is het makkelijker om in het Engels te communiceren. Voor mij maakt het niet uit, maar dat betekent dus dat deze video voor de rest in het Engels zal zijn. Wat we spelen met, is een half inch of een inch? Het is een inch over standaard. Yeah. And two degrees upright. Yeah. But I, I do play a lot, of course, with with um, clients' clubs, mm -hmm. and most of the time they're um, they're they're standard lie. Yeah. And well, I, it isn't hindering me as much as it was before. Oh, you've you've used your grips. Holy <laughs> smoke, man! Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, you're almost through your grips. I know, I know. So yeah. So you've been hitting a lot of balls then. Or? Well, I've, um, yeah, because I I'm not playing uh, of not teaching at Limeer anymore uh, since this January. So yeah. because of that, I have a little bit more time, trying to practice a bit more. Yeah. Um, also, tend to uh, tr I'm kind of planning to to play some more tournaments. I want to make a bit more of an adult choice in club choice. Mm -hmm. I really like these irons. On on good days, these are the best irons I ever played, but on the not so good days, they're they're terrible. <laughs> like I know I have the club head speed for these shafts and I know I can hit the ball in the center of the club face, but the problem is that if I don't strike them well, they're really, really tough. I don't think you're in front of the trap now. I'm not, okay. Yeah, right there? Should be there, yeah. Okay. On shots like that, where just hit them in the toe, yeah, just slightly, they're very penalizing. So yeah, on on shots that I don't hit in the center of the club face, they're very penalizing. Yeah. Um, and then, and of course, I mean that that's a that's a five mile an hour difference. Yeah. On a good strike or a bad strike. Yeah, and like when I'm when I'm playing for fun. 
I don't really care. But when I'm playing to win, I do care. Well, it's eventually it's almost a ten meter uh, fall off on the on on a good strike or a bad strike. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm missing green sometimes when I just slightly miss hit them. Yeah. And on shots like that, like I'm, I'm missing greens, even though I, I did hit the center, but the club face is just slightly open. Yeah. Like club path, the like face to path is still zero, zero, zero. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, when I'm hitting them like this, of course I'm good. Like then <laughs> it's but, all but good. What do you play? What is your, uh, your carry distance number on the six iron? Um, between 170, 175, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I mean, 180 is a pure strike. It is, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, this, these are like summer numbers. Yeah, I mean, yeah so it's on normalizer. Yeah, of so, course, so yeah. If we, if we were to take normalizer off it, because, yeah, well, of, the that's wind, because of the wind, because of the wind uh, today, yeah. I mean, this is, this is, I mean, it's pretty consistent, isn't it? Uh, one, uh, what's your average there? Your average carry is 177. Yeah, so that's, so but that's about correct then. Yeah, so that's that's okay. Like I'm not looking for more distance. I have plenty of distance. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. You're looking just for a looking bit for more playability. Yeah, a bit bit more bit more safety. So I just I don't wanna stand above a ball where I have a very tight line maybe and um there is some trees in the way. And then I'm hoping to hit the green instead of the, the trees. That's what I'm yeah. afraid of at yeah. the moment. Um, even though I, I, as I said before, I really, really like these irons. Yeah. So, so you still want to look down in the club and have that player's profile head. Yeah. Um, because this this isn't it's terrible. Like, no. You but got, it's it's. You got it close enough to the fit in the middle of the face. Yeah, yeah but still. Spin rates are good. A little bit. Uh, I mean, for that iron, it's still quite a low spin. So, yeah. I mean, dynamic loft with traditional loft, you're hitting it 19 degrees. So, yeah, you're getting plenty of ball speed there. For six iron. But yeah, it's just shots like that, and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> you know, and that, I mean, it's not a real bad strike. It's just no. a little bit too low in the face and a, a fraction uh, towards the, the heel, maybe. Let me see inside. Don't just get rid of Tracy. Don't get Tracy. Uh, and that, that's a that's quite a big fall off. What, yeah. what, 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 what heads were you thinking about? Well, slightly easier. So um, the, the Cobra CBs or yeah. the, the, the King Tours. Um, Zedic Sevens. I, I used King Tours last year, yeah, and I was really impressed with them. Yeah, a, a client of mine has them, and um, they felt very soft. Amazingly but, soft. Yeah. yeah. The thing, the thing is, with the shorter irons, it's maybe got a slightly bigger profile. Okay. Um, but that's that's not really a bad thing. I mean, it's it's giving you a little bit more confidence. But when you hit it in the close to the middle of the face, it's an amazingly soft uh, feel. Yeah. It's the only uh, five-step forging process on the market. Yeah. So. Besides Mura, but. They are like three times the price. Exactly, exactly. And they and um, I think value for money. The the Cobra Tour is definitely a good iron to, to to test. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's that's ballpark figures there. I mean. Yeah. So you're you're producing basically on a good swing. You're producing with a good strike around about one thirty five on your ball speed if you really get it. Which, yeah. is, which is a lot, eh, hey, Bass? That's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, swing dynamics, 63. Spin number, very, very consistent. Yeah. Uh, 180 carry. It's just that, that there is sometimes they just move too much of line, even though I, I know I hit them decent, decent in the center. I, I would maybe consider sticking with the same shaft. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, you're definitely strong enough to handle that. Yeah. Uh, and if you put a little bit more playable head on it, it might give you the combination that you're looking for because you're kind of used to that makeup and the weight as well. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah. Is it 7.0? It, it is, yeah. 7.0. A 
feels a bit more heavy in the in the bottom. The club head. Right, so so this this is this is one you didn't quite get yeah. in the middle, right? That was a little yeah. bit low in the face as well. Yeah. But you didn't lose any ball speed, didn't lose any distance on it. You've leaked it a bit to the right. And yeah, the nice thing nice thing about it, the standard lies that I feel like I because I have to reach down a little bit, mm -hmm. just have a little bit more space for my elbows. What's your bad shot? A fade. A, a putty fade. So it starts left and then just leads to yeah, the Yeah, right. just yeah. just as you saw in the other. Okay. I almost never, never hook it. See, the thing is, Bass here, I mean, that, that's a 187 carry, 137 off the face on your same number. Yeah. I think here you could actually go a bit easier on it and get your number. So you don't need to batter the ball, you know, you could you could actually uh, so maybe smooth it. Okay. More like that. Yeah, see that, I mean, for you, that's a, a easy going that, yeah. right? <laughs> but it's still 94 miles an hour, almost 95 miles an hour. That's actually, yeah. that's actually a good, a good solid strike there. Yeah. Okay. It's just the wind that's just blowing it. Yeah, exactly, right a bit. exactly. I do have the feeling that it's hard to close this club head. So it doesn't want to... That's maybe also because it's not upright. Well, you're definitely a bit shallower on it. Definitely yeah. at 62 uh, degrees on the, the lie angle. But if, you, if you're thinking it's too flat, I mean, we can also make it more upright. You have to you have to be very careful. It could be one, two degrees. That's, that's about the max that yeah. you would go on, yeah? Yeah, because mine are, are two degrees up. Yeah, yeah, you're a little bit upright, yeah. But I do feel because now they're a bit flatter, so I need to go down a bit more here. Mm -hmm. Makes it easier to get my elbow more forward. In front of the body. Yeah, exactly. Because when it's upright, it's more like here. Yeah, and then you're going to use the hands a little bit more. Yeah. 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 That was bad. See, that's, I would consider that a good miss. Yeah, that was a good miss. Right, so so let me see what's the carry in that. Do you carry that 180 or not? Probably. Yeah, 181. Yeah. 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 See, these are the numbers that you're actually producing yeah. on a good strike with your own. Yeah. <laughs> but these are, of course, slightly less, uh, less it's, lofted. It's, it's, it's only two degrees. So okay. So it's not much. It's, it's not, not that much. much at all. That sounded and nice. If, yeah, but could we put a shaft and it's slightly softer in it yeah. in the bottom section? In the tip. Yeah. Slightly softer in the tip. Slightly. So I'm going to put the uh, the the mid the X 120X in here. Okay. Uh, Right, so what I would expect to see here, Mark, is a little bit of elevation in the in the flight. Okay. So slightly more higher spin numbers, but also a slightly higher ball uh, ball elevation as well. Okay. Oh yeah, it's X short. One hundred. Oh, now it's not so bottom heavy anymore. <laughs> it's a bit softer on the tip, yeah. Well, it, it also. But it's also lighter in the swing weight because it's a fraction uh, shorter. Yeah. But you can feel that um, with the other shaft, the head felt very heavy. Okay. And now the head is more in, in balance with the shaft. Hmm. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe you should stick with the same shaft. <laughs> Because this feels so different at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So 
See, you're, you're, you're getting the launch uh, now up one and a half, almost two degrees, Bas. That's okay. quite interesting. Okay. Spin rate, I would say, was pretty good as well. We just, uh, just do one more. Okay. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just, feels a bit all over the place. But it's maybe also because now the shaft is shorter and the head is not upright. So it's, it's, it changed quite a lot. How did you hit that one? It was okay. Just it doesn't feel as much con controlled as the other shaft. And it's a fraction softer, right? It's a fraction softer in the in the tip. Still a then, low, um, still then, a low launching shaft, but just a bit friendlier than the um, the the the, the full X. tour issue X one hundred. So this is okay. S a uh, four hundred. Issue. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. Because now you can feel that there's some some load on the shaft. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You do feel it loading. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. that's very nice. Kind of in the midsection that you yeah. feel that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's what, also what I have in my driver with the with the Fantas. Okay, still soft a eh, at the at the, eh, sorry, soft in the midsection, but still strong in the tip. Yeah, yeah. So the um, you can feel it in the top where where it flexes. Yeah, and that's actually kind of nice because then you don't get the feeling you have to rush at it. Exactly. Now I can feel like it can can uh, drop a bit here okay. because it. it it bends anyway, you don't have to really. No, you don't have to force it into a no. position, no. And that's also what I like with my driver because that just gives me so much confidence that the, the club head is, is there and it's stable. But there is some load, I don't have to rush it. That's quite interesting because with, with this one, you're also spinning it a bit more as well. But okay. not, not much more, but you're just you're getting a launch number that's right in between the two. Yeah. But a slightly higher spin rate. Okay. Oh, that was his. Yeah, that was good because then I can really slow it down a bit. Don't but feel the like the shaft is still kicking. Yeah, it's it's still working. And even though that wasn't that good of a hit, it still felt okay. Yeah. Maybe a little bit too side. Was yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit too. But you didn't lose anything. No, right? that's that's interesting. Yeah, and that's that's the thing I'm looking for, of course. Mm. And that was very nice. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it's very nice. And let's just put on the optimizer here, boss. Have a look at that. Yeah, see a fraction, it's a bit high. Fraction in the high side. Okay. okay. But we're not going to get exact ball no, of because course. of the optimizer as well, eh? Nah, so, because of the wind is yeah, exactly, exactly. And kind of severe. I, I was just curious to see what the profile was like. Yeah. A distance, and so it was fine. Okay. Can we move the head one degree upright? Yeah. So so. That is, a, that is a good one as well. You did yeah. not hit that one, but you no. did not lose any uh, ball any speed. speed on it. No, you know? no. So you didn't lose any distance on it as yeah. well. That's, that's, that's important because that, that's the one. That's what I'm looking for. So the 135 is equivalent to 128 with that strike on your, yeah. on your blades. And that, that's a considerable difference. Yeah. So a carry of 184 against a carry of 177, 
Yeah, this feels a bit more comfortable, also in my back. Because even though it's nice that I'm so low down, yeah. I can start to feel my back isn't liking that at all. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Yeah, and that was quite an easy swing as well, yeah. eh? Yeah, I don't have to force it as much. So I can relax a bit. Slight toe. Yeah. Yeah, slight toe, but still good. And does this break eight? Well, 182, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Th this is this is like a, the forgiving package that you're looking for. It is, yeah. So the shaft is still stiff enough. Yeah. But not that you're feeling as if you, you really have to, to go uh, to save it. Yeah, it's I don't have to. It's not taking as much as you, you would expect it maybe yeah. to. Right, let's throw um, a ZX7 in there. Yep. And see let's how it that feels. You, you, it's going to give you a different experience of the face. Of course. But very strong uh, uh, data as well uh, from the ZX7. Okay. It's slightly different profiled head as well. Uh, I'll move this to 63 degrees. Yeah, please. Yeah. So then you're comparing apples to apples. Yeah. I would say that there's less offset on it. Definitely less offset. So... Hmm, it doesn't... It feels kind of similar, actually. Well, it's, well, it's just the weight is the same. The, the weight is the same in the head. Mm -hmm. ZX7. Slightly less offset and a slightly higher toe profile. So yeah. a little bit sharper on the toe. Yeah, but I don't... don't the, the interesting... Heads. Interesting thing is that it feels a bit heavier in the heel. Could do. So I think it, it will help me a bit closing the face. Yeah, that's a different feel. A bit harder, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Way harder. See, the, th the thing is, boss here, just just give me a second here. Yeah. You see your flight profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now your flight profile, there's a reason for that. Yeah, the spin uh, is so because low. Because the spin, the spin yeah. is def, the, I mean, the Strixen golf clubs, all of the, the ZX line, yeah. are spin killers. Yeah. You know, if you have the tendency of hitting the ball too high, yeah. uh, because you're producing too much spin, the, the Strixen will take care of that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a thousand RPMs lower. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I mean, still not bad because you're still getting the ball elevated. Yeah, but you get that one. Yeah. It's just a, it's a. It doesn't feel as 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 controlled as the other one. Okay. Because now it almost feels like the shaft is bending this way before I hit the ball. Like it's already it kicked already before I, I hit the ball. It's a less forgiving head as well. Yeah. This is but it's harder off the face, eh? There's yeah, no doubt just, about it. It's just it's just not it. I want it to be it, but it's because I really like the design. Not but really, not really getting it. The, it's the, you have to try the CBs. Yeah. As well, the uh, the, uh, the cobras. The cobra CBs. Yeah. Good looking head, good feeling head. And if we do something crazy like a uh, Nexium shaft, Nexium, it's too light for you. Is it? Yeah. Even the the one twenty five. Yeah, but the, it's 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 not it's not really out. No, no. 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 It's it's not for your swing speed, man. Tell you. Okay. And and you know it's more for a, a guy my age. 
Okay. You can still swing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can still swing it, but looking for the ease of a of a, the the lighter pl profile chopper, it's still looking for a decent stiffness in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 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 I do like the fact that it has less offset because mine, my Korean irons, irons also don't have any offset. Yeah, correct. Well, let's see what the numbers say. Yeah. What it feels like. The funny thing is it doesn't feel like a six iron for some reason. Because? Almost, yeah, I don't know. The way it sits, it almost feels like a seven or eight iron for some Quite reason. It's small, eh? In the head. It's small, but it, it's it's not terrifying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that, was, that, that, I mean, that sounded yeah, awesome. That was very nice, actually. <laughs> that was very nice. See, th th this club is also doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. The spin rates are going up. Up. Yeah, and, uh, and the uh, the the sh the, um, the carry distance is slightly. But this is also the carry distance I would like. Sli slightly uh, shorter, yeah. Yeah, but that's what I would like. I don't want it to too far yeah. because then I'm in trouble with my wedges and. This will be interesting. Just to hit a few uh, a few with it. I do like the fact with this shaft that I can slow down a bit in the top and I don't have to rush it. Well, that, that's good. Yeah, that's very, very good. This is pretty much giving you the numbers of your own irons. Yeah. Distance wise. Yeah, distance wise. Yeah. Yeah. That looked like a very peaceful swing as well. It was. Yeah. I don't have to. Like I can put some power on the shaft, it will still be fine, but... Right, now that that was not in the middle, right? No. No, it was in the toe. 176. It's not far in the toe, probably. Let's see. Uh, a yeah. fraction in the toe and fraction yeah. lobe, yeah? Yeah. Fraction. But with my own irons, if I hit that, the miss was like double the distance. And a little bit of the dispersion as well. Yeah, right? exactly. You, you yeah. were hitting it more offline, that's yeah. true. Mm, that sounded good. Yeah, that's okay. Very, very similar to your own. This one. Distance wise. Yeah. No, no, all of them. Distance okay. wise, very, very similar. But they're both traditionally lofted, eh? Yeah, okay. So, do you, do you you don't need any more distance, eh? No. Okay, so so you're happy like uh, with a 180 carry. Yeah. A uh, 175, 180 Definitely. carry on the six iron. That's plenty. Uh, it's funny though because the um, is it the, um, the X100 mid that was uh, such a tight dispersion, even though it didn't feel like it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Funny. Yeah. Interesting. Didn't feel like it, but you see the King Tour is up there for distances. Yeah, right yeah, there. of course it is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you could you could also think King Tour and take two degrees of loft off of it. Yeah, but that would. But you might be ending up hitting it a bit too high. Yeah, and the bounce will increase then as the well. Bounce will change slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that's a that's quite interesting because I've had feedback from other good players with the um, the sole interaction of the the. Um, the uh, longer irons. Yeah. That if they change that, that they yep. feel that the back of the club is making too much contact with the yeah. ground. I like this, but it's the other one feels a bit safer. But that's logical, of course. The the tour. Yeah. I'm going to give you the tour head back again and just try it. I mean the, the 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 profile difference in the uh, the tour is marginally bigger yeah. than the CB. Marginal. It's not it's not that much. I'd say it's only like a couple of percent. It is maybe.
I just like it that I when think I, that's a very important one to you. Yeah. Because you did not get that. Yeah. That this is this is the important one. The one eighty four. So you didn't lose any distance on it. Yeah. Nothing. You got it a bit thin. Yeah. Uh, it didn't go that far offline. No. Mm. Oh, that's very nice. Mm. Oh, that's bad, but. Yeah, let, let's see. I mean, did you get did you get a one seventy five carry, one seventy three carry? It's yeah, not bad. I mean, you, you almost missed that one. Yeah. That's better. There you go. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Just want to hit them from the grass a bit. Yeah, take them outside. Yeah, well. Yeah, a few. Um, not as I thought it would, because it didn't feel as stable through the turf. Okay. Uh, so it feels a bit soft. So do you want it, the, the shaft or the what? The shaft, I think. It, it feels like the club head travels through the turf pretty good. Mm -hmm. but then, so you want to try that with your own shaft? Then? Yeah, let's do that. Because I think this is... On a mat, it's, it's pretty... it's fine. But I was hitting them bit fat because I felt like the yeah just wasn't that timed correctly just in, just just get a few uh, dry ball data with this as well yeah you see how close that comes yeah That's an impressive ball speed. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that was impressive. It just a good miss. Yeah, but the, it feels a bit. Yeah, it feels more familiar, of course, because it, I know how the shaft feels. Right, try it. Take it out and try it from the ground, mate. Yeah. It looks like you get a little bit more ball speed out of this one, this combination. I mean, nothing's changed. It's just that maybe you feel as if you can you can go at it just a little bit more. Well, it almost Conviction. felt like outside. It almost felt like I had to change my tempo too much. Okay. Okay. And um, inside, it's fine because you're on a mat, and so very nice. And even if you hit it a bit far, it will fl uh, slide yeah. a bit through the turf and yeah. stuff. Outside, just doesn't. And then because I had to change my tempo, it felt like I had to work too much for it. But I do like it because I hit this one in the toe. Yeah, you didn't lose enough a lot of ball speed. No. Take it out and try it from the grass, yeah? yeah? feel the difference so that then i would be very careful to change the shaft but yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't be in a rush to change the shaft no i mean either because i think that um the difference that i was making with this shaft were so so that's deep so so much thinner than the other one yeah so you're gonna have to try and time the other shaft better. yeah yeah and yeah. you know you, the thing is when you think you're going easy at it I'm still you're still way up there yeah you're still I know. way up there i mean it might feel smoother to you yeah but it isn't that much but it's not i mean it's a mile an hour of difference yeah yeah, yeah. i mean you still got a lot of a uh, uh, speed at the bottom of the arc yeah that's 
and that, that's when you kind of need the weight and the stability for it as well. There's yeah, no because about it. yeah, because with the the S four hundred, it almost felt like, even though I tried to hit the ball earlier, the shaft was just so early at the ball. Yeah. Okay. It was okay. kicking yeah. so early, and that's then I had to to slow yeah. it down and. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I would be going with, mate, I tell you. Okay. The, the thing is, the thing is, do you want to build a combi set or do you want to go full uh, tours? Yeah. Well, how are the, how are the lofts? How are they? Well, we, we, we can, uh, they're all two degrees strong. Okay, so they're all the CB and this one. CB not, but we can we can change the CB to match these ones. So we can, or we can change these ones to match the CBs. Yeah, and make these one one degree one degree weaker. weaker. Yeah, we the other one, one degree off them. Yeah, and that won't change the bounce on them. One no, degree you won't notice no, it, I don't it's, notice. it's still quite a camber on the bottom of the sole. Yeah, so that won't really make a big difference there. Yeah. Okay. And then P nine eight in the CBs, and then seven to four in this one. Seven th four through to seven in the uh, in the the two tour. heads, eight nine pitching wedge in the uh, in the, the CBs, CBs coming out, and that's still matching your wedges. Yeah, the gut wedge in the in the uh, the um, the tour is a uh, forty eight. Yeah. And the, and the, uh, the oh, they got the the, um, the pitching wedge is 46, but they do have a, a pitch a gap wedge at 50. Okay. So there's not much point. No. No, because then you have 52. Yeah. So then we could do a, uh, the pitching wedge bend out one degree weaker. So it 40, would be 45, 40, and then you've got the 50, the gap wedge at 50. No, no, get rid of the, the gap wedge, then the, the the pitching wedge one degree weaker, so it's 47. Yeah, okay, for because, one, oh, sorry, one degree weaker, yeah. Because my own pitching wedge at the moment is 47 as well. 47, yeah, they're gonna, you're gonna have a, you need, you need that at 42. Yeah. Yeah, so, and that would be 38. Yeah, so probably be 32 and we put that to 33. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 33. So you go 33, 29, which would make perfect sense. Yeah. And 20 then cents, 25. 25, 25, 22. Yeah. That, that's a logical breakdown. That would, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's logical. Yeah. Uh, okay, length, line angle 63 degrees. Oh, yeah. Length, we're going to make them exactly the same length as you know. Inch longer, then. Eh? Yeah. I think you're making a good decision, mate. I think so, too. It's a, it's a so. lovely iron. In, in fact, a. I moved over to, to Strixon at the end of the year and my my tours were lying here yeah. for ages. Yeah. And I kept on going back to them. Let's see what the swing weight is. Is that your six iron? Yeah. It's going, to, it's going to come out wherever they're going to come out with these heads on. Okay. They're going to be, going to be up there anyway. Yeah. I have everything I need there. We're going to match them up with the Project X LS. Yeah. 137.0 uh, flex. With yeah. MM, uh, with MM, MCC plus fours. Yeah. A uh, blue gray grip with three three tapes on them. Yeah, and if it, if they don't have the blue, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I think we do. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll have the grey ones. Yeah. Fine, either way. Yeah. doesn't really matter. But they'll, they'll let me know. If they don't have them, they'll let me know and I'll say the grey. Okay. I think you're making a good choice, mate. I mean, the, these ones these ones that you've got in your bag are sexy golf clubs. I mean, they are. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. It's a beautiful yeah. iron. It's a, an absolute stunning iron to look at. But exactly what you say... 
you're not a tour player, you're not out there uh, hitting balls a day, hitting no. balls every day. No. You, you need an element of forgiveness in there. Yeah. Oké, okay. interessante uitkomst uiteindelijk. Um, na veel heen en weer met shafts en met koppen uh, zijn we toch uitgekomen op de King Tour. Uh, maar die ga ik wel in een combinatie set maken met de, de, de King CB. Um, dus wat ik ga doen is het volgende. Ik ga een CB kop, dus een wat moeilijkere kop, wel mijn pitching wedge, mijn ijzer 9 en mijn ijzer 8 doen. We gaan de lofts daarvan een beetje tweaken om ervoor te zorgen dat die dan ook goed in lijn zitten met mijn wedges die ik al heb. Um, en we gaan dan vanaf 7 tot met ijzer 4 de King Tour doen, dus een wat makkelijkere clubhoofd. Daar gaan we ook de lofts een klein beetje van tweaken, dat het allemaal beter bij elkaar past. Um, en na wat nou, heen en weer heb ik toch ervoor gekozen om wel mijn eigen shaft die ik al had te houden. Um, zoals je hebben kunnen zien, ik heb het binnen en buiten, zowel met uh, Dynamic Gold S400 Tour Issue gespeeld. Dat was binnen een heerlijke shaft, omdat ik daar mijn tempo wat rustiger kon houden en het wat makkelijker de bal kon raken. Maar... Buiten op het gras was het niet zo lekker. De divots waren gewoon te diep, waren niet zoals ik wilde. En daardoor had ik net niet helemaal het gevoel van controle. Toen ik daarna terug ging met mijn eigen shaft, ging het in één keer een stuk beter. De divots waren weer zoals ik ze wilde hebben. Ik had weer de controle over de balvlucht. Dus daarom toch ervoor gekozen om uiteindelijk te kiezen voor die, uh, de, CB, uh, de, de Porte XLS 7.0. Um, dus dat is... Ook de reden waarom dat wel belangrijk is. Je kan binnen op een mat of buiten op een mat kan je dingen fitten. Maar uiteindelijk moet je ze toch van het gras slaan. Het is toch wel belangrijk dat je ook weet hoe ze op het gras reageren. Dus ik ben wel blij dat ik dat even kon doen. Dus dat is uh, de set. Um, ja, super. Het zal helaas wel de laatste keer zijn dat ik hier een fitting kan doen bij Robert. Uh, Robert gaat verhuizen. Die gaat naar Bernardus over uh, een kleine periode. Uh, dus die zal daar het vervolg te werk gaan. Uh, ik wil deze fitting nu al hebben, want ik ga de clubcompetitie weer spelen. Dus daardoor moest die set ook wel op tijd arriveren. Want ik moet toch wel weer eventjes voelen wat de afstanden zijn en hoe het voelt in de baan. Dus ik moest nu echt die fitting nog doen. Dus dit is de laatste keer dat ik hier de fitting kan doen. Als ik in vervolg fittingen zal doen, dan zal het dus bij Robert in, op Bernardus zijn. Dus uh, ben je op zoek naar een fitting of zou je een keer een fitting willen met Robert? Uh, mail hem gerust, app hem eventjes. Uh, en dan zal het waarschijnlijk in Bernardus zijn. Dus dan weet je dat alvast. Ik hoop dat jullie het een leuke video vonden. Uh, als je het een leuke video vond, like, like de video natuurlijk. En als je deze stijl video leuk vindt, abonneer je op het kanaal. Dat kan hieronder in de beschrijving. Um, en dan krijg je gewoon weer een notificatie op het moment dat er een nieuwe video uitkomt. Ik film elke twee weken of elke twee weken komt er een video uit. Um, dus ja, genoeg informatie en genoeg dingen om naar te kijken. Heb je nou een specifieke vraag of een specifiek onderwerp waar je een video van zou willen zien? Laat even een reactie achter in de beschrijving en in de comments. En dan kan ik daar weer een nieuwe video over maken. Ik wens je veel plezier met oefenen. Ik zie jullie de volgende keer in de volgende video. Tot de volgende keer.